On the 7th of May 2021, one of the USA's largest pipelines, carrying refined gasoline 5,500 miles from Texas up the east coast to New York, shut down its operation in response to a cyber attack. A hacking group called DarkSide targeted Colonial Pipeline with a malicious software or malware called ransomware. It spread through the company's computer network, locking vital files with a key code, which the hackers claim they'll provide, but only when a ransom is paid. Colonial Pipeline paid a ransom of 75 Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency often used to provide anonymity, which at the time was worth around $4.4 million. Over the last few years, ransomware attacks have been on the rise, targeting key infrastructure and supply chains. Just recently, the world's largest meat producer, JBS, was forced to shut down some of its North American factories in response to a ransomware attack, impacting world markets. They too paid a ransom of $11 million. A ransomware attack starts with a malicious piece of code, often hidden within a legitimate-looking file known as a Trojan horse. In most cases, the Trojan needs to be downloaded. This is usually done through phishing. Phishing, like the activity, is where a hacker sends a fraudulent email pretending to contain legitimate information as bait. It could be something like a fake invoice that the end user would want to see, luring them into downloading it. Once the code is run on the victim's computer, it can either lock their entire hard drive or encrypt their files to prevent access. A pop-up is then displayed demanding a ransom, usually to be paid in a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, to regain access to the computer and or files. In the last few years, the sophistication of ransomware attacks has skyrocketed. Now, if one computer is infected with ransomware, the software reaches across the local network to infect other computers, meaning entire companies can quickly have their operations halted. Files across the network are locked using modern encryption techniques that are essentially uncrackable, requiring a private key set by the hacker to decrypt the files. This gives the company only two options. Delete all the files and restore from a backup, or pay the ransom to receive the unique private key to unlock them. But there is no guarantee that paying the ransom will work. So what can we do? There are lots of things individuals and companies can do to prevent ransomware attacks, from training against phishing emails to updating software regularly. None of it is foolproof, and so regular backups are a safety net in the event of an attack. But in the worst case scenario, where backups are either compromised or non-existent, are there any other options other than paying the ransom? Right now, no. The hackers are winning, and even police forces have been known to pay ransoms despite their own policy against them. But the future of quantum computing may hold a solution. To understand how this works, we need to know the basics of encryption. RSA encryption is widely used for secure data transfer across the internet, but is also relied on by hackers for ransomware attacks. It works by using a simple multiplication of two prime numbers. It's easy for us to multiply two numbers, say 5 times 13 to get 65, but it is difficult to know which two prime numbers were multiplied if you are only given the answer, say 119. It'd take a while to guess or work out at 7 times 17. Well, this is the same for computers. In this example, the answer 119 is the lock, and the prime numbers are the private key. When you encrypt, everyone can see the lock, protecting the data. But only those who know the prime numbers can easily unlock it. For those who don't know the prime numbers, then you have to crack it, which means guessing, which takes a long time. Modern encryption uses numbers running hundreds of digits long, which would take classic computers seconds to multiply, but billions of years to decrypt, without knowing which prime numbers were used. This forms the basis of uncrackable encryption. But quantum computing can use an algorithm called Shor's algorithm to massively reduce the time taken to guess the private key or prime numbers. 
It does this by recognizing patterns in the data to make a guess and then using Shaw's algorithm to improve the guess each time. What would take billions of years could soon take hours or even minutes. Whilst this would be great for beating ransomware and getting our data back in the event of an attack, the problem is that it also breaks the foundations of modern digital security on the internet. Mathematicians are therefore already looking at new encryption algorithms to develop uncrackable encryption in the face of quantum computing. So, as things currently stand, the only real way to stop ransomware attacks is if people stop paying the ransoms. But new techniques are always emerging. In the US, the FBI were able to track the ransom paid by Colonial Pipeline to what's known as a digital wallet, which was seized, recovering the majority of the 75 bitcoins. But the perpetrators are still at large.